So why are white graphics cards so rare? After all, many of your favorite computer cases are available in white, like the Corsair 5000D Airflow, for example, that I recently built our Z590 test system in. There's a reasonable number of white power supplies to pick from as well, though I'm unaware of any recently released all-white motherboards. The closest you'll get is something like the Gigabyte Vision D, for example. So again, why are white graphics cards so rare? The obvious reason being that they just don't sell as well as black graphics cards. Black is viewed as more of a neutral shade, and these days gamers who care about looks dress up their system using RGB lighting. Still, white can be more desirable for those who like to show off their system, as the lighter shade better reflects light, and therefore makes for a much more impressive display. There is another reason though why graphics card makers tend to avoid white and just go for darker colours and shades, and the reason is yellowing. Unfortunately, for a number of reasons, keeping painted white products white is extremely difficult and near impossible without ongoing maintenance. I won't delve too far into the science behind why this happens as there are a number of very complex reasons which can vary depending on the paint used and the material that is being painted, whether that be plastics or alloys in the case of a graphics card. The main reason though for the yellowing effect you often see with white painted products is due to the presence of chromophores. A chromophore is the part of a molecule responsible for its colour, and they're produced as oil-based paint dries, and they're a natural part of the process. These chromophores are sensitive to light and they will be bleached out of the paint film if exposed to daylight. Now, some alkaline enamel paints discolour more than others depending on the type of vegetable oil blend that is present in the formula. However, all alkaline enamel paints can be expected to develop a yellow tone as time passes, especially in the absence of daylight. This means if you took a white graphics card and sat it on your desk near a window and you left it there, the top side of the card would remain white, basically indefinitely, assuming no pollutants are introduced like smoke from cigarettes for example. The underside of the card though, so the backplate, will likely go off colour, turning yellowish as the chromophores haven't yet bleached out by the natural sunlight. So this helps explain why case makers are a little more willing to sell white versions of their products, while graphics card makers tend to avoid them. A computer case is more likely to be subjected to light, whereas a graphics card that is installed inside the computer case isn't. So having to deal with warranty claims for off-white graphics cards is probably something board partners are trying to avoid, and that's why almost all of them are black. So, I guess you're wondering, has PowerColor done anything special to try and avoid the aging process that typically sees white painted products turn that dreaded yellowish colour over time? Well, I asked them, they didn't really get back to me with an answer though, so that means the answer is likely no. How long this yellowing process will take to occur with the Hellhound Spectral White will depend on the quality of the plastic used on the fan shroud and then the quality of the paint used. But based on all the research I've done, at some point this card will go off-white if not exposed to enough light. 